Hey friend, hey again. Wow, the last time I spoke to you, I told you about this amazing initiation of Bufo that I had. And that moment was already two months ago now. So it's been two months, I call it the essence day. <laughs> two months that I had this magnificent, powerful, profound experience of, of source, of me, of, of us, <laughs> of everything. And for the past two months, I have been into this wild integration time of this intense ex experience. So I want to share a little bit of this integrative journey that I've been on with you. Maybe you will relate to some parts. Maybe it will inspire you in some others. But I feel called to share with you. Since Essence Day, the initiation has not left my side. Not for a second. It has changed my whole life. My whole perception of life. My whole perception of myself. Of the meaning of life and the sense of me the sense of all really and so i have been very very gentle with myself allowing all parts of me all parts of me integrate this new data this new innit knowing that i was introduced to and this new energy levels that i've been attuned to so yeah there was <laughs> A lot of different steps in this integration, a complete freak out, a complete blissful state, a question never ending, or sometimes all the answers here and no more question. It's been really, yeah, rocky road, but so beautiful. Every step has been so beautiful and graceful because deep down, remains always this underlying state of being now, which is pure peace, pure ease, pure knowing of what life is, of the beauty that it holds and unfolds, whatever that looks like, however it looks like. So I've been growing through those movements and I would say the first uh, thing that or one of the things that really helped this integration process was a retreat weekend that I went to do in the mountains here in Bali in Sidemen. Uh, it's a cup immersion so I told you before about kundalini activation process which is a transmission of kundalini energy more like a resonance of your own life force energy inside your body and activation of this essence inside of you it's very very powerful process that i've been um yeah experiencing for five months now four months and the woman facilitating sessions here in bali offered a retreat retreat weekend for this so it's a three days with four transmissions of cup and that was already planned and of course, this whole Bufo story came just so spontaneously, but divinely guided and divinely orchestrated, of course, the cup immersion came just a few days later. So I went to the immersion and uh, wow, <laughs> what a beautiful moment I lived. I'm going to share with you really what it felt like for me inside with this energetic expansion process whenever I was in a transmission of CAP it was different from the other times that it really activated my Kundalini if you followed the first episodes it was different it was less unknown it came less like a crazy thing moving my body in every way and doing all kinds of things inside of me a lot of release and stuff like that that was not the case 
in those four transmissions after my non-dual experience with Bufo. Every session, my mind was very conscious of what was going on and I was trying to make sense of it. I was trying to, like, I had some th thoughts in my mind saying, oh, maybe it's not working like before. Maybe, yeah, why is it working less? But the more session I, I was doing and the more present and surrendered I was allowing myself to be during the sessions, during the transmissions, the more I could feel that everything, everything was integrated. Everything was different because I was not initiated to this energy like I was before the first couple times. With the non-dual experience floating inside of my whole body, doing and receiving the transmission of CAP, my whole body was resonating on such a familiar frequency that I was sinking so, so deep into the experience, into the resonance of this energy. I was sinking so deep in such a graceful, blissful state. I have no idea if my body was moving a lot or whatsoever. I just remember the feeling of, wow, merging. I was merged with all of my dimensions, with all around me, with all this energy, all this transmission. Everything was merged. And I was just a part of it there, fully aware, fully feeling, fully alive into this oneness. Oh my God, those four cap transmissions were so important into the integration of initiation of this experience. So important. It really allowed me to see that it is not different from me. This experience, what I lived as source, is not separate from the me here and now. It's a part of it. And if... I allow life to be fully through me if I allow energies that wants to come and move through me to do so then I can just feel that oneness I'm the one who chooses to see the separation or the fusion and in those moments of complete surrender there was nothing blocking this oneness that is always here and I could just feel it, oh my God, so consciously with every cell of my body, with every subtle sense that I can have. I felt it all, this non-dual, infinite, eternal space. And with so much awareness that I can now actually uh, grasp and try to put into words like I'm doing now. So, wow, such beautiful experiences during this weekend and of course life has been <laughs> a true friend with me and guiding me to all this amazing journey these callings and um, on this weekend of cap immersion life sent me another gift a beautiful one wow she sent me a new friend her name is Jessie and <laughs> We've met a couple times in beautiful spaces before that, but never quite uh, took the time to talk to each other. And we knew, we, we felt that there was something there, like a spark, but we didn't really went to see what was that. And in that weekend, we found each other here in this cap immersion, just a few people lost in the mountains. And here we are, sleeping next to each other. And wow, it was like love at first sight. <laughs> there was such a soul remembrance for the two of us. Like we have been friends since the beginning of times. And in that moment, we saw it and we recognized each other. And since that moment, two months ago, we didn't leave each other. We, we are in this together. And she is my true soul sister. And yeah, 
I have no doubt that it's just the beginning of the journey and life put us together going through all of these amazing expansions and craziness and beauty and celebration of this life and wow I cannot be more grateful to have a friend oh my god as funny as generous as kind as beautiful and joyful as her so thank you Jesse and thank you life for this gift of her during that day and that very important integration time wow I'm so in awe and humbled and grateful uh, in front of all of the guidance that we get so clear so clear from life every step of the way of the magical way that she's paving for us I am so grateful thank you thank you thank you thank you a thousand times for this light path for these amazing initiations, for all this love that comes into our life every day in so many forms, in so many shapes and in the shapes of our friends. Wow. It's also in the shape of our houses and where we get to live and rest at night and life for this integration granted me this magnificent pleasure to live in this beautiful big house with a friend and big enough to welcome more friends from our community more friends to host right next to the most beautiful cliff that I love to go every morning that was a pure manifestation I literally did not imagine that house but I knew I wanted the best view I could get and yeah, the best view I loved here in the ocean. And wow, through all this craziness of integration, life just granted me this gem here to rest and to fall back, to be able to really, really calm myself, calm my body and dive into those feelings that come so strong <laughs> and such waves of them through all this integration period so yeah beautiful beautiful divine alignment for li from life for this house that I'm in now and yeah it was like you know this thing that you get to have so that you can really focus on other things this is the feeling I have I have since I've been able to ground into my new place here in Bali, next to the ocean, with all my friends surrounding me, I've been really able to dive into this new way of feeling myself, of feeling life, of expecting myself and expecting life. Because Source, this initiation with Bufo and everything it did with me never leaves me like I told you and more than that it opens so many new doors so many of course it changed it is still changing my whole perception of myself life people sense of my life purpose I'm still figuring it all out from my point of view but it's so much more into letting go and surrendering truly, fully. Letting go of all the rules I used to have, all the rules I'm still hanging on to. Letting go of all the control. And it's also letting go of everything that is making me not free. Everything that I'm dependent on. Everything that is numbing me here on this earth plane. And one thing that came straight lightning straightening I don't know the word <laughs> that came super strong and very uh, how do you say that mm, very unannounced like unplanned I never thought about this before I actually didn't even know the word of it the name of it but something that came super strong right after the, my initiation of Bufo was pranic living oh my god <laughs> what is that you say pranic living for 
some people you know it also as breatharian which means uh, you do not eat physical food anymore or as a breatharian you get all the vitamins all the minerals or your energy everything that your physical body needs and emotional and spiritual and everything you really need here you get directly from prana which means you don't have to ingest physical food in order to be fully nourished on all levels physical emotional intellectual and spiritual so i don't know why but again life's callings and life showed me this pranic living and um, pointed me into the direction of pranic people and even a pranic living online course and as i was grounding into my new house my new place um, grounding with my dear friend jesse and other soul sisters i have here i got into this this online course so just check it out and like what does it mean and with every video of uh, this woman named Chas Mohin that I really recommend, she has this whole online course for free on YouTube of Pranic People, Pranic Living, I really uh, recommend it. Every word that Chas Mohin was pronouncing about this Pranic Living made so much sense. It was everything that I've been experiencing since Source, since Buffo, everything. So it made just so much sense to break free from having to ingest any type of physical food when we are already source, we are already everything that is and everything is everything. So I can nourish myself from prana directly, of course, uh, in type of food, physical food, but also just prana itself. Prana is not only in physical food, it's everywhere. It's in the air we breathe. It's in everything that exists because it is everything, it is source. So as a human being on earth, I don't know, I'm trying to find the right words, but you should really check it out. It just makes so much sense to feed myself in the most perfect, harmonious, plentiful ways, everything that my body really needs directly from source. That's why they call it source fed. It makes so much sense, honestly, to me, as the way I experience source in this oneness way, non-dual state and really felt way, yeah, it just makes sense to be directly source fed, feeding myself, not just my physical body, but also emotional, intellectual and spiritual directly from source. And that can take every shape that I want. But what I know is that for myself, I've always had this uh, food addiction, like many of us actually. I think that I need food in order to be okay, to be alive, to feel great. If I don't have food, sometimes it led to anger, irritation, and I couldn't function. I don't want that because I know this is just perception and misconception of life and what my body is truly capable of. So, yeah, I can really feel it in my gut that we don't need anything in order to be because we are already everything. And uh, the sooner we drop and let go of all the misconceptions we have about ourselves, all the rules, all the definitions that limit us, on an old plan, on a dance plan, as soon as we let this go, we can actually embrace a whole true nature. We can embrace the ease, the joy, the energy, the pleasures, the easiness, the peace. As soon as we let go everything that is numbing us, as soon as we let go all the definitions we have for ourselves we can relax into our hearts listen to the melody of source and hear its calling feel its grace choose its light so pranic living doesn't mean being breatharian uh, for sure for, per se it's like breatharian is like the the highest level let's say about it 
but it's more about being free and being able to choose. That's what I want for myself. I want to be able to choose to eat physical food just because I want to enjoy the pleasures of life and the fruits of life. I don't want to be st stuck and imprisoned by anything in this world, really. So this came just like a very sensed uh, thing into my heart. It's absolutely not um, think thought about. <laughs> it's not something that I had planned for myself. Um, it's not something that I wanted uh, on an ego way or ego point of view. But it's really something that came into my heart and it just made the most sense ever. Being so fed, being able to be me fully, light, receiving, enjoying, celebrating in my own terms. And for that I had to drop all the rules. And you know what? It's a big step. It's a big transition. And right now, it, it is aligned. And I'm on to this transition that might be able to take years. I don't know. I'm not going to push myself. I don't care about that. I just want to listen to life's calling, as always. Because life is such a blessing. And whenever I get to listen, whenever I made the choice to listen to those blessings, well, only miracles happen. I have so many miracles to share with you about this past two months and this past months actually and I will in other episodes but just for now I wanted to share all of this newness that comes into my life after such big initiation and I'm sure you can relate when you've had a profound life-changing life-altering experiences but yeah this is all just a yeah, a mix of everything happening lately and it's beautiful and I don't attach to it too much. I let it flow and if it, any of it changes, it's okay because life is so beautiful in every way, every moment. So right now I am doing this seven-day juice fast and detox and high parasite cleans and I feel more light and energized than ever, really. It's beautiful, it's a journey and just trying to celebrate every step of it. I'm sending you so much love and I will talk to you on the next episode.